We have gotten so used to accepting the bare minimum. And, and, it, and it's sad. And I'm not just talking about, I'm not just talking about y'all. I'm talking about me too. We have gotten so used to accepting the bare minimum when it comes to sports games that these games, uh, if they do even a little bit above the bare minimum, and sometimes even if they just do the bare minimum, we give them praise for it. We give them praise for it. I'm sitting up here thinking about a review for college football. What grade should I give it? What score? And the stuff that I'm giving it point for, it's like, okay, this is simple stuff, bare minimum, and y'all didn't even do all this right. How can I give y'all, how can I give y'all points for presentation when you sold us on every school is somebody's favorite team, but then you have names spelled wrong, you have the wrong names of the stadiums, there's other issues. It's like that's what you sold us on presentation. You still have the same generic sidelines. You don't the only thing you do is you will glitch, you will glitch cheerleaders for cutscenes. You will glitch fans for cutscenes. But if you actually go through the replay and actually while you're running a play and look at the crowd and look at everything else, it's so generic. It's so generic. We're saying the gameplay is fun. I remember back in the day when we talk about simulation. Now, if you want to make an arcade game, EA, that's fine. But EA Sports has the monopoly on simulation football. I remember back in the day with simulation football, we used to actually break down if it's actually sim or not. Now it's just, oh, let me just go through emotions. And if I'm having fun, as long as nothing glaringly horrible happens then oh it's okay bare minimum bare minimum we talk about oh they'll put this in the game next year they'll put this in the game next year when they already delayed the game for a year when this is stuff that should be in the game day one Why is our, if you had someone who didn't play football games, but knew about what a football game should be, but they weren't in the community, they would rate these games so low, it wouldn't even be funny. Because they don't do the simple stuff, but our standards are so low. And this is for, this is for Madden, this is for 2K, this is for, um, um, uh, college football. Why am I giving, why do I give 2K praise for, for, um, ha having um, good animations or 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 good physics in five v five gameplay. Why do I give them credit for that? That's bare minimum. When refs are on the field, I was like, oh, finally refs are on the field for Madden, and I was like, this is shit that should have been in the game. Why are you giving credit for that? They literally take stuff out the game and put it back later. You would think that we were. You would think the way we talk about these games, you would think that we were not paying any money for them. You would think that we were getting these games for free. To the point where we defend mediocrity. To the point where we can see broken gameplay and defend it. What other community does that? What other community does that? We can see, oh, physics-based physics based tackling, that should, something that should have been in the game 20 damn years ago? And we giving credit for that? This is PS5 in 2024. Do you know what games we're doing on PS4? Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Like it, 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 it gets to the point where I'm sitting up here like if I'm actually not giving EA a pass on anything and just judging it and I'm putting my low standards and low expectation mindset out there, these games are threes and twos. Honestly. Honestly. 
but they've underserved us so much. They've given us two out of 10 so much that when they give us a three out of 10 or a four out of 10, we call it a six out of 10 and a seven, no. Just because they give you something, uh, if they give you something shitty, just because it's not super shitty, that doesn't mean it's like, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean it's still not shitty. When in actuality, if I'm being completely unbiased, if I'm putting my fanfare aside for colorful, and, my, and I'm just actually judging this game, this is not an average game. This is not a below, this is a below average game. This is a below average game. 2K would be an average game. Madden would be just a straight terrible game. I'm going to tell you this. If we all just lift our standards up, and it's so crazy because people defend these people like they're like CD Projekt Red or something. Like they're just a small upstart company. Like they're not going to sell you a game for $70 and then try to milk you for your money all throughout the year. Like the reason they don't put classic teams in Madden is so they can put them behind a paywall. I don't get it. And like I said, if you want to make an arcade game, fine, make an arcade game. But call it an arcade game. Let me, well, let me holler at you, bro. Like, cause I could keep going on for a long time, and and and, and this is this shit is ridiculous. So I holler at y'all. Let, let let me know how y'all feel. Let me know what grade y'all would give the game. Completely unbiased opinion. I holler at y'all later.